Hello and welcome to another cast by the SC Chronicles. Uh, this is the, our first ever lag, our first ever uh, live cast uh, that we're going to be doing basically from two different computers because truth is at home, I'm at home, it's too hot to be in the same room at the same time. So we're going to be live casting from two different computers. This is a uh, fun custom game on uh, Scrap Station between Marathon, the purple Protoss, and Cryostat, the pink Protoss. Yeah, so we're just in here with a bunch of friends just spectating games. We're just doing some round robin, a little bit of tournament play with a few friends we know because there's no chat room, so you gotta do it with people you know and just invite them to the game. So there'll be a lot of spectator chat because there's tons of people in here and probably a lot of lag. Yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of lag because uh, the game started off with some lag and it's having some lag issues right now. But anyways, we're gonna try and cast this and see if we can throw this up on YouTube. Who knows? Um, anyways, we got some basic play here the lights are off in my room so i can't see my keyboard so my macros will fail that much more <laughs> see a cryostat is actually a random player and he did get p and i'm pretty sure marathon is a protoss player i'm hoping he is because i didn't really check no it's a random both... oh okay Wait. so they might be both playing random right now yeah. and they're both in diamond league i think mid-level diamond not they're pretty good pretty good they're better than me is so that's all count that's all that matters if you're better than me you're good that's most of the people that play this game. Hey, there's yeah. a lot of people that are good at this game. <laughs> Come on, there's a whole three leagues under me, alright? Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, I guess there is. <laughs> so this map is Scrap Station and it is a PvP, which I find incredibly boring because PvP turns into who can two gate the other person first and who can turn that into a four gate the best. <laughs> That's so true, it's depressing. But it looks like Marathon is going to be going for an expansion the way that he is pop throwing down those pylons. Yeah, he has no gas right now, hasn't even put down a simulator, he's probably gonna put down a gateway and a forge. He's actually grabbing expansion right away, holy crap, that is ballsy. Because Cryostat's actually double gating right now. <laughs> First gateway is almost done for Cryostat here, this is gonna be either a very quick game, or if Marathon can manage to keep the double gate from ha uh, happening, he'll have an awesome economy to push back with a Yeah, I don't push. think it's gonna happen. If long as Cryostat can just, you know, scout that Nexus, and he knows that he's in the clear to double gate, because the gateway is coming down now, and he's gonna scout that out, and he's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? And he should just start pumping Zealots right now, but he's not doing it. Well, Cryostat actually doesn't even know about the Nexus gone down, he's just, uh, moving it though and, and his uh, scouting probe just died right now so oh wow so he might not right actually now, push out yeah because there's not even one uh, zealot being produced from any of the uh, gateways right now he's waiting for the cyber core i'm assuming he's gonna pump out two sentries i mean stalkers yeah he's got a stalker coming right now and the other one's still blank he just needs to pump zealots and he could just take this right now that's such a ballsy expansion right there wow he's gonna get away with it that's the worst part you know what it is? The, the the biggest part is basically it's scouting. It's, uh, you know, Cryostat didn't scout the expansion area. I didn't see this expansion go down. So to Cryostat but, right now, all he knows is that it could be just a regular build. But the thing is that he scouted two pylons and no buildings around it. You got to think, where are those minerals going? So he's either thinking there's a proxy near him or, you know, some he must know there's an expansion. I don't know how you cannot know. Nah, uh, yeah, I agree with you. There, there is a little bit of bad play on Cryostat's part. But then again... He might, he's better than me, so he might know what he's doing. <laughs> so hopefully he can still pull this through, because if he lets that expansion get saturated as it is right now, looking at the income tab, yeah, the minerals are just flowing in right now for uh, Marathon right here. So he can just start pumping out Zealous, get his gas slowly, and you know his, his income's going to be amazing. Yeah, he, the Marathon is pumping out Zealous one by one right now. Uh, he does have the minerals to be pumping out more and more Zealots. They actually put down maybe another gateway. But I would personally like a Cyber Core right now so he can tech up and have an army that can do a little bit more. A yeah, very uncharacteristic supply block right now by Cryos that um, I think, you know, maybe he's played too many games. It is pretty late at night right now. And, you know, this is very uncharacteristic of him. I've seen him play. He's pretty good. And this just seems very odd. Cryostat still doesn't know about the expansion, actually, if we look at the, that probe. The probe, the probe goes into the mineral line, sees absolutely nothing again. Although there is two stalkers from Cryostat in Marathon's base against three zealots. If he yeah, can it's going to be a those, long kiting battle. Yeah, if, those, if he can kite those uh, zealots well enough, those stalkers will be able to take out those zealots. Yeah, very nice. Keep focusing on the same zealot. Don't let that one's shield recharge and just pick it off. You know, slowly do its damage, even though it's a lot of micro right now. And, you know, he's probably neglecting his base right now. Yeah, he's got quite a few minerals and gas stockpiled right now. He needs to get his warp gate tech started and he needs to get more stalkers on the way. Yeah, as of right now, he's just basically spending all his time um, kiting these zealots. And I don't think that's the best option because he should uh, macro up really hard right now back at base. 
Yeah, right now, um, it looks like, you know, Marathon is, you know, controlling his base. He's moved his probes down to the expansion. So now he must know the probes are at somewhere else and they must be at an expansion. Marathon. He must. <laughs> Marathon finally getting his own stalkers out. Uh, these zealots should come in and help t take down these, uh, uh Karstadt stalkers really quickly. Ooh. Come on. Get kind of stuck in there and it looks like these stalkers will go down. The other two stalkers sitting outside without engaging. They're probably gonna run home. Rag! We got some rag right there. <laughs> and... Still no warp gate tech. What is going on, man? This is this weird. 500 minerals, 500 gate. Oh, he's putting an expansion now, so. But he's behind. He yeah. knows he's behind. Yeah. Crossout actually uh, has two stalkers up, up front, kind of picking away at a pylon at a gateway, really not doing much damage. More than anything, just making Marathon move his army back up to the front uh, of the ramp. You could actually snipe that one stalker. He's on 12 HP. His shield is slowly recharging, but looks like he's pulling back right now. And he looks like he's put, he put down two more gateways. Probably gonna go for a four gate push. His next push, he's gotta do significant damage right now. Marathon's, you know, income, his economy's gonna start kicking in. He's gonna go to overdrive real soon. Okay, Marathon's sitting on one, one, freaking 13, 1400 minerals. Holy crap! Whoa, this is a, there's bad macro play. Oh, there we go. We have a uh, Stargate coming down or being warped in from Marathon right now. But even still, uh, their uh, uh, income rates are basically the same. Although Marathon is getting more gas right now. Yeah, Marathon is on 4 gas right now, that's probably going to help support his Stargate army and looks like Cryostat is doing the smart move right now and taking the back door rocks and I don't think Marathon really notices yet because he has nothing really nearby but the HP on the rocks is dropping. Yeah, I don't. Marathon can't even hear the uh, stalkers go off right now, I'm just uh, in his vision and yeah, he doesn't even know anything as if anything is going on right now. Yeah, it looks like Val, it looks like we had some insider information, maybe a little bit of ghosting happening because Cryostat is talking about someone in the spectator telling him something. Yeah, but also Karostat is talking about the fact that he doesn't get in warp gate tech till really, really late, so us making fun of him for it makes sense. Yeah, so maybe that is his style of play. Looks like the back row rocks are down and Karostat is pushing in right now. Marathon doesn't have that much of an army. Him, he doesn't have warp gate tech either right now, but he does have six, eight, seven gateways coming in Holy right now. Holy crap, that's a lot of gateways. He That warp gate tech will finish very, very soon. Uh, let's nope. go back to the production tab. Yeah, I should chrono boost that. No, there you go. He's finally chrono boosting that warp gate tech. Um, yeah, Krausstat really needs a proxy pylon and needs to get that. He's even further behind on that warp gate tech. So, yeah, it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to do much right now. He needs to saturate his expansion and he needs to do damage. That's all it is right now. Yeah, this has just become a waiting game right now. And Marathon is uh, by far ahead right now, actually. Yep. Marathon actually has tons of minerals right now. I don't know why he's not chrono boosting probes out like crazy right now, just to get that huge income though. Harvester count is actually equal, and that's very surprising for someone that's been on two nexuses for most of the game. Yeah, and that's completely true. He does throw down five pylons right over here just to get rid of 500 minerals, I guess. And that's pylons are actually going down as a bad move right there because he is going to lose that nexus because the pylons blocked his army from coming around and stopping that attack from taking down that nexus. Yeah, Marathon does have warp gate tech uh, completed, so he is warping in as many uh, zealots as he possibly can just to try and keep his uh, base alive. He did lose his Nexus at his expansion, so... Although he does, he does have, have two voids right now, actually. Oh, and not traversing that small little narrow gap out yet, but Krausted does have his Warp Gate tech out now, and he is... Looks like he is getting plus one armor right now, and does, hasn't gone for the weapons yet. Kind of a weird move. Yeah, I'd personally go for the weapons first, uh, but I don't know, maybe Krausted knows something we don't. Um, Krausstadt is moving out once again, trying to see whether or not this expansion is going up again. Uh, and does... there are void raids in his base right now, going to town on that Nexus. He needs to warp in stalkers and shoot those down urgently. He needs to move those stalkers up. Move there's, them up. <laughs> there's actually four stalkers in Krausstadt's base that are doing absolutely nothing. This Nexus is going to get sniped from the looks of it. Oh whereas god. Back oh in god. Marathon's the micro. Base... Where has the micro gone? <laughs> <laughs> and the Void Rays fully charged are taking no prisoners right now. If you can keep that charge, you can actually kill all those stalkers really easily. Yeah, one by one. If he starts, uh, starts phasing with those uh, Void Rays, those stalkers have no chance. Marathon doing an excellent job. Kept uh, his uh, base alive. He's probably still that. The, yeah, that uh, Nexus is still going back down. And these Void Rays, are, I think the, the game is uh, are very close to being over. Marathon is just being a beast with these Void Rays. Yeah, he need, he might lose one right now from lack of management right now. But Krausen needs to warp in more stalkers. A fully charged void ray can really do damage. Really, just, just look at him melt that stalker. Look, look at him, just, just gone. Yeah, the, those two stalkers against one fully charged void ray not gonna happen. That, that void was three ray stalkers. <laughs> that was three stalker. That's true. 
Actually, yeah. Krastad is just sitting in, uh, in the middle of the map right now with his uh, small little army. He should have moved those stalkers back to finish this avoid ray off, I think, personally. Yeah, Marathon has reclaimed his expansion and will probably will move in some S probes soon enough to re you know to saturate it. And Krastad is still trying to kill that one void ray. <laughs> that void ray is actually shooting at a gateway right now. And that's the only reason it's uh, that stalker had a chance to get a couple pot shots off on it. Ouch, there goes another one, and it doesn't look like Krasta can do anything now. He needs a stalker to kill that thing so badly. Oh, here are the, Finally here are the stalkers, stalkers coming. In. Oh, guys, we're sorry we're late to the party, and there's a ton of stalkers actually moving into Krasta's base right now. Yeah, it's over. This is going to be devastating. This is a depressing little play. There is a charge slot that runs headfirst into a stalker just to get picked away. Oh, this yeah, is this, this was some misplays on both sides, and... Oh, Christ, that pauses and leaves the game. The BM continues. <laughs> Marathon actually just leaves the game. Oh, man, that was funny. That was funny. That was weird as hell, I'm not All gonna right. lie. Oh, well, anyway, that's been an, our first ever live cast from two different computers, so we're, I'm probably gonna throw this up on YouTube. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it up. Um, yeah, it's like 2 a.m. right here, here, so we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh, 1.30. Uh, 2 a.m., whatever. Peace out.